Greg Chang, Ramona's Plumber here. Today we're going to talk about how to service the Moen Positemp shower valve, if it be just for the shower or the tub or both. So if we want to uh, put a, a quantified value on this task, keep in mind, if you're going to hire a plumber, you're going to give him your address and phone number and whatnot, he's going to come, he's going to do it, he's going to have what he needs to complete the job, he's going to leave and he's going to guarantee it. What he's going to have it's a puller, which is in the neighborhood of $100. He may have OEM handles, which you may or may not need. You don't know until you get the thing pulled apart and put back together. He may have a collar. You may need one, you may not. He may also stock just the button for the handle. You may need one. He will have the cartridge, an OEM cartridge, which it could be $75 to $100. He will have the essential Allen wrenches, as you may. Uh, he will have the skill, and regardless of what happens if you hire a professional, hopefully you get a professional job. However, if you're willing to do this yourself, you can. And if you watch this video and have all these tools, you could save some money. It's not always cheaper to do it yourself. You must be prepared. So, can you do it? Yes, you can, and I can help. This is the cartridge we will be using. This is an OEM product, original equipment by the manufacturer. Not a good idea to go with the import versions on this particular project. So let's step in the shower and see if we can keep from getting too wet. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do first. We're going to turn off the water. But in doing so, we're going to make sure that we're prepared to turn the water back on. And what I mean by that, before we start repairing a shower valve, we make sure that we have the Positemp puller, we make sure that we have the correct Positemp cartridge, the Moen 1222B, we make sure we have the Allen wrench to pull off the handle and all that stuff, so that we pull this cartridge out, we don't damage it, and we put in the new one, and we put the water back on without a problem. If this cartridge comes apart and you don't have the puller, you could have to call a plumber and it will be pricey. So let me go through the steps of what we're going to do first. We'll turn off the water and we'll drain it down. Water is off and because it's off the water is not flowing right now so I can get to this screw. Now keep in mind we're, the lever is in the on position right now. I'm going to take this screw out of here and I'm going to turn it back to the off position so that I know it's in the off position because rotationally that means something in a few minutes. Then we're going to see the, the way this turns. Clockwise is off and this little stop right here is up against that ridge. We're going to take a screwdriver, Phillips it is, and we're going to pull off the handle adapter and set it down exactly like we pull it off so that we don't forget where, where this goes. And also this is a, a, a stop limiter which you can rotate into different positions to have it not get as hot as it could otherwise. It, would, it limits the heat, the rotation of the knob. This particular one is in the full hot position where the limiter is at maximum uh, angle. Now this limiter assembly is not essential for the valve to operate. It's essential for the valve to operate as designed, having the, limit the heat limiting function. So if that is in a different position other than straight up, note it and keep, it, keep them together in that position and your limitation will be retained at the same temperature. We just pull off this collar and it just slides right out, no screws, no, no, no attachments. And inside, under the collar, is the cartridge. Now this is what we're going to pull out, and it's not going to come out until we pull this clip. This clip comes straight up. This is a very important part of any single handle Moen cartridge. Here's the clip, it comes out, you set it down, it'll always go in from, from the top. But here's, here's the part now that you want to be very aware of. And the tool that comes with the cartridge is 
this little goodie. This little goodie will go on here and it'll rotate this, this cartridge body. Now, I'm looking right now, and I don't know if you can see it, but it says H and C. That would stand for hot and cold. Now, this valve physically will go in with the H and C on the bottom. If it was in that way, then you need to put the new one back that way because that's the way the house is piped. If it's on top, then you need to put your new cartridge with that back on top. So now that we've, we've identified which way hot and cold is, we'll see if we get lucky and if this just slides out of here with a pair of pliers. If it doesn't slide out easily, we use a puller. Because you may not want to buy a puller, but once again, if this is a weekend, you should buy one in advance. Now here we have, it's being a little tough, so we'll, we'll try using the key tool and we'll try rotating this cartridge, breaking it free from its kind of stuck in place position by rotating it. And as you can see, I'm just going to break this plastic piece. So I'm not going to pull it out with pliers, so it's a good thing I have my puller. You take your, now this, this is the Magnum, or excuse me, this is the Positemp puller, not the other puller. This is the big one. And the other puller will not work on this valve stem. So you stick your cartridge puller on there. This screw goes into the brass inner stem, which hopefully will stay intact with the cartridge as we very carefully pull this cartridge out of the faucet body. And what I mean by carefully is if we don't yank around and force it, we slowly tighten this collar down. It's kind of like a wheel puller. I've, I've got tension on it. I'm feeling that uh, the barrel tighten down. And I'm going to try to rotate it a little bit, which is what I was trying to do a minute ago. Okay, I, I just felt it turn. You can see that it turns. It broke loose. Now it's just going to pull out. Once again, I'm making sure that I knew that H and C were on top. So I'm setting this down. And I'm feeling in here for any debris. And it's natural for water to come out like that because the pipes are just draining down. To be careful, to be sure, I'm going to look in there to make sure I don't see any long sticks or twigs coming into the valve body from the water system. And there, it's free. There's, there's, no, there's no ugly debris in there. Hopefully this cartridge is going to slide right back in there. If it doesn't, and it's really corroded in there, you could take a little bit of uh, steel wool, very fine steel wool, and very lightly uh, clean it up. Or maybe one of those three, uh, those green 3M Scotch-Brite pads. Now I'm going to put the H and C on the top, push it straight in. Now I'm not pushing on this part, I'm pushing on the body. And I'm pushing it all the way in so that the keyway lines up. It's fairly self-explanatory. The clip goes back in, it must go down all the way, or the collar won't go back on. And sometimes you have to play around because this clip, and there it goes, the clip goes through a slot here and a slot here. Now that you've got the clip back in, you can turn the water back on and put it all back together. What I'm going to do is turn the water back on 
and before I put the handle on and everything and make sure that when I turn this on from the off position that cold comes out first, then it blends and then it goes all the way to hot and then it turns off back uh, clockwise to turn it back off to cold. It should always be such that the cold comes out first and then as you rotate it becomes hot and the valve stops. If you're using the limiter in here and your limiter is other than straight up with this notch, you could have it so that it'll only turn on and only go up to maybe 90 or 100 degrees or something. Um, that's, that's your temperature choice. If you're not going to have it work as a limiter, you don't even need to have this in there, but it's a good place to store it. So we'll put it in there and we'll turn the water back on and we'll check our, our polarity and our flow. Now we've got the water turned back on, the cartridge is in the off position, and we're going to find out if that inner stem was in the correct position rotationally. We know the, bo the body of the stem is because we put the H and C on top. So what we'll do, is we'll turn the cartridge on. I could put the handle on here, but, but it doesn't look much different. I'm just doing this, and that should be cold first and then it should get warm, and then it should get hottest right there. And I'm checking it to be certain that that is definitely warm, that is definitely cooler, and that is definitely cold, and that is off, and it's not dripping. Now, if it would have been hot first, then mixed, and then cold, all you would have to do because you know your outer body is correct, all you would have to do is rotate this stem from the off position 180 degrees, put your limiter back in the position you want it in, in this case we're straight up, no limit, and you're good to go. And you could, uh, you don't have to turn the water off to, to rotate that stem. Now all I'm going to do is put the screw back in the uh, handle adapter, which is, I believe, always a Phillips. Now, we don't have to go behind this escutcheon, this repair plate here, because there's nothing serviceable behind there. So that's why those screws don't matter. And the owner's manual for this cartridge is in the bag, and the instructions are in there. And uh, it is in writing for you if you forget. We put the handle back on here. Now what I'm not doing is I'm not going to turn this thing upside down so I can get to it easy because I don't want to get my knees wet. Instead I'm going to try to run that Allen screw from the bottom. And that Allen screw on these newer Posi temps turns quite a, quite a bit before that screw drives all the way home. Now, right now I can see that the tub spout isn't dripping. I can see that that's cold mixed and that's hot. And it's not dripping. And we have successfully changed a Moen Posi temp cartridge. Can you do it? Yes, you can. And I can help. Thanks for watching. RamonasPlumber.com and DIYPlumbingAdvice.com. Thank you.